So hi, um, let me talk you through how to put together the sine equation for this relationship. I just graphed the um, first cycle from zero, um, the time equals zero, x equals zero to x equals 60. And um, we're going to write this as y equals sine of something. I mean, x in there. I mean, something times here, we're going to figure out what this number is, what this number is, and then what this number is. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find what's called the midline. Halfway in between the highest and the lowest. It's called the midline. Let's do that in nice uh, bright green. Halfway in between 10 and 60 is 35. So that's the midline. The midline on y equals sine of x is 0. The midline here is 35. That means we're going to add 35 to the end of this equation. Now the amplitude. The amplitude of your basic y equals sine of x curve is 1. This one, the amplitude is the difference between the midline and the maximum, or the midline and the minimum. So the, the um, amplitude is 25. That goes here. Then we're going to figure out something about the period. The last thing we're going to do is actually the phase shift. That's going to be something that goes in that parentheses with the x. We're not going to worry about that now. We're going to find out the, something about the period. In the um, basic form of this, y equals sine of bx, sine equals something times x. The way that b and the period go together is 2 pi over b equals the period. And therefore, also 2 pi over the period equals b. Here, the period for going from maximum to maximum is 60. So that's the period. So um, b would be 2 pi over 60, which is pi over 30. That goes in front here, pi over 30. Now, the last thing is, it goes in the parentheses with the x, and that is about the phase shift. So we want to write a, a sign equation for this. So let me get a better color for this. So I'm going to draw in purple, not purple, orange, excuse me, what our basic sine curve would mean. With this baseline and this amplitude, if it were the basic sine curve, it would start at the baseline and go up to the maximum and through the, start at the midline, excuse me. I think I might have said baseline. Start at the midline, go up to the maximum, go back to the midline, go down to the minimum. And then when a whole period has gone by, it will be back at the midline. So in this case, this curve would be down at the minimum at negative 15. So the basic sine curve with this amplitude and this period and this um, midline would look like that orange curve. But we don't want that to be the orange curve. We want to, looks like shifted to the left by 15. Our orange curve is the basic y equals sine bx, you know, plus 35. 25 times sine bx with b being pi over 30. That would be the orange curve, but our curve is the purple curve. And that looks like the orange curve shifted to the left by 15. And when we shift to the left by 15, we replace x with x plus 15. So we have 25 sine pi over 30 times x plus 15 plus 35. You know what we're going to do? We're going to actually check this by plugging in, for example, let's plug in x equals 30. x equals 30. So x equals 30, x plus 15 is 45. Sine of pi 
over 30 times 45 is sine of pi times 45 over 30. 45 over 30 is 3 over 2, so that's 3 pi over 2. Sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 25 is negative 25. And negative 25 plus 35 is positive 10. And at x equals 30, y equals positive 10. So there you go. That formula checks out. I'm going to follow this answer in case you have a question or a comment. Or if you find I made a mistake, you let me know. And um, thanks a lot.